charters and rights and freedom that would tell you that. But since you seem to forget that, and you're all loud and proud with your big thoughts and your big big ideas, and you wanna whatever set up hot tubs in Ottawa. I'm a recruiter. It's a small, small, small industry, smaller than you'd think. Same with HR. So, if you're looking for a job, or maybe trying to keep a job, maybe, just maybe, think about what you're putting on social media. Again, freedom fighters. I know you're not really big with stats and, you know, facts aren't your thing, you know? But what I can tell you, what is a fact, is that recruiters talk. And recruiters, like the majority of Canada, don't agree with you. Do you know what that means? Do you have any guesses? Any guesses what that means? What that means is that if you need a job, you might not get one. If you want to keep a job, you might not get to do that. And you know what else HR is good at? Documentation. You know what that means? You want to be an asshole. We document it. We give you a couple tries. Then what do we do? We terminate you with cause if we're so lucky. If not, we give you the minimum allowed by law. Either way, best of luck to you. Recruiters are watching, HR is watching everywhere, and we hate you. We hate you so much. And you think we can't do anything, but we can. We have the power. Always remember that. Doesn't matter if there's a man at the top of your HR department. It's run by women. And it's run by angry women just like me. <sighs> I'm so, so glad I got that off my chest. It's been eating me up inside. And honestly, my heart goes out to you guys. I mean, you have families to feed, right? You brought your kids to this big event. You're freedom fighters. You're standing up. Oh, they will be so, so proud. So, so, so proud of you. Fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. Mwah. My first set of images which was going on through my mind when I was listening this is like middle age, the nobleman on a big horse, expensive horse, dressed like a nobleman in those times, sees some, some, some peasant he doesn't like or he feels he would like to whip somebody because he can. And it's legal, right? And God will, God will sit because, of course, uh, God put a king as a king, and that king put a prince as a prince, and marquis as a marquis, and this bush there is like a baron, and now he's doing this. It's a God's hierarchy of things. Otherwise, it wouldn't be existing, right? Um, official ideology of Europe at that time, stretching to this point. So, it's 1980s, it's 1880s. Um, some guy doesn't want his woman anymore. He arranges through the contacts uh, that asylum wagon comes for her they take her into the asylum and you know that's it and it was of course uh, these asylums were warehouses of genuinely crazy people whatever that is and people who are unwanted in many cases politically example number three old school mobbing which was uh, normalized to places of work coming from women, because they are now the privileged class of people, psychopathic women, narcissistic women, not neuronormal. Neuronormal women working in that system are simply a privileged part of the society which is receiving their privileges and through this element of receiving these privileges they are becoming enablers of the system. They are being basically paid off with the insane amount of money and I think 80% uh, of all purchases in the Western countries are done by the women. So that really explains you the, the, the price, even the price of ecology, which needs to be done in order to please uh, this 50% uh, of the population. So now we have this element where a woman is uh, put on the very weird pedestal of being both in the both in the same time both the victim of the endless white man's patriarchy which is totally crushing all her possibilities to get employment and uh, be independent 
and I hope that you never lived under the rock, just walk into the bank, just walk into the school, just walk into the government office. Um, you will notice uh, all women, maybe few men, uh, working there. And I was always wondering when I was walk watching these men, in which of these three categories uh, these guys are uh, protected, which, you know, you, you, you cannot fire protected guy, insiders. Gay, you cannot fire gay because they are your natural allies against the heterosexual white male. And, uh, and of course, uh, those guys who are hired because they really needed their skills, but now when they don't need their skills, now they're going to be mobbed out. So, you know, my friend was in that uh, third group, which is so sad, you know. So anyway, um, this whole narration of being oppressed uh, and... Um, and of course, uh, parallel to that is the narration that they are spiritually superior to men, mentally superior to men, in all aspects, uh, better than men. That that's for they are in this uh, position of power now because finally get they got rid of the oppression. So this is like uh, co totally pinning uh, men and against women. Just you know, just for the sake of the argument, uh, try to imagine the the contrast between my life and the life of this woman here. Today was one of those days where you leave for work at 7 a.m. and you don't get back until past midnight. I left for work early for a 9 a.m. meeting that was conveniently canceled right beforehand. But luckily I got to the lobby and there were these eucalyptus towels waiting for me, which is really nice, and some fresh orange water, which I of course took before taking the elevator up to the office. I grabbed some breakfast, normal oatmeal and chia seed pudding, and we finally got LinkedIn mugs in the office, which I'm so excited about, and prepped some LinkedIn content. Then I found out that the wall heart that we have in the office is made out of recycled trees from Chicago, which was so cool, fun fact. And then it was time for our company All Hands, so I grabbed our drink of the day, which is a blackberry mojito, and headed downstairs to the All Hands room with some of my coworkers. There weren't that many people there, but listen to them sing Mamma Mia. Anyways, we love that song. We grabbed some lunch because we were starving after that. There was this cool little dish and I grabbed a chai latte before heading to work. Watched some of my coworkers play ping pong and then tried out a new quiet room, which is a really nice area to just like relax and unplug from work. Then it was time to buckle down. I had to get certified in our new marketing lab certification on LinkedIn. So I did that and just like sat in our focus area for a while. I grabbed a snack after I was hungry. And then I finished off the rest of my work before getting an email announcing the next team that I'll be joining through my BLP program. It was really exciting news. I'm gonna be joining a marketing team. Buckle up because this week I went to LinkedIn's headquarters in Sunnyvale, California. This is my first ever work trip and I was here for an offsite with my team. So I checked into my hotel and look at the rooms. They, this hotel was so nice. They even have Dyson hair dryers and not gonna lie, it almost slipped into my suitcase. So after unpacking, I got ready pretty fast for our first dinner. This was the welcome event and we got to meet everyone on my team in person for the first time. We all got a personalized goodie bag filled with swag like a teen sweatshirt and random fidget stuff to use throughout the meeting this week. And this cute little mug. And I posted about the hotel on my Instagram story and when I came home, I had the cutest handwritten note left for me and a little mini Theragun, which I used of course, because my legs were so sore. Now, Please don't get me wrong, I do not hate women, okay? Same as I do not get, hate gays. I do not hate Muslims. But what I hate is the oppression. Because I know if it's coming, it's coming from the demonic entities called reptilian beings, and even far worse than that. And they're using certain segments of population to do their dirty work, right? Same as they've been, you know, using um, Valois, Belgian, guys uh, to do uh, genocide in Congo in the 1850s because it was needed for this stage of civilization. Copper was needed, rubber was needed for the industrial revolution, you understand me? And this was like all building block for the building block for the for the prison where we live. So now um, what I hate, I hate oppressors. I hate the very fact that somebody has a power over me and using that power to hurt me and to destroy me. This is what I hate. And uh, this is perfectly natural for every every being, human being, animal, name it. 
you know, if somebody is hitting you or taking your territory or squeezing you, of course, that you want to uh, fight back and that you want to retaliate. Otherwise, you wouldn't be alive. And what is happening is now they're managing this hate step by step and making it to boil and making our society um, making us you know divided because we as a humans we are constantly so fucking desperately divided uh, in all these categories uh, first of all class uh, then the religion and then the race ethnicity now even gender is a fucking issue which was totally non-issue like 30 years ago in 1990s like what <laughs> come on important element in all this story is the evolution of propaganda now second wave of propaganda is the propaganda where you guys from the western countries you always lived in but we in eastern europe we had the first stage of propaganda which was like the bullshit level and then a second level which is now which is sophisticated which we all share so you know the bullshit level was here in yugoslavia at the time bratstvo brotherhood and unity um, <coughs> samupravni socijalizam kao vrhunac demokracije self-managed socialism as the peak of democracy our society is the most democratic society in the world and they've been like blasting this uh, you know bullshit propaganda through the loudspeakers and uh, like you know that you are in a forest but propaganda is telling you that around you are all like um, grain fields and the lilies and stuff like that and we all knew even kids knew it's a bullshit but then we all participated in this game because you would get punished by the psychopaths who been instruments of that propaganda because you know they had the power they still have and they like to use it right so the easy part was nobody really believed in that and we all know how that ended up so um now this level of propaganda is more sophisticated why because it uses many elements first of all it uh, uses elements of truth to mix truth with lies and make the hamburger of uh, misinformation you know the the meat is the truth everything else is a lie and you get like a hamburger with a salad which is lie cheese which is lie bread which is lie you eat it all and you constantly have a barrage my dog stepped on a bee my child spilled my tea. I sharded on Santa's knee. I want to learn Tai Chi. You thunder against me! Of uh, fake news and real irrelevant news, like, oh, Biden uh, snoring coke. Oh my God, you know. Or Mr. Biden made another gaffe. What is this time? Oh no, he, he read the teleprompter. It is noteworthy that the percentage of women who register to vote and cast a ballot is consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. For the last time, anything you put on that prompter, Burgundy will read. So this is all uh, designed to basically um, make you docile and, of course, not to notice what's going on. But the most important thing is it creates you to be suspicious. It's, it, it, you you are um, turned into this cynical, suspicious uh, human being, which uh, doesn't believe in truth itself. Okay, you're not looking anymore for truth because it's so difficult to find it out there because there are so so many lies. So you go back to the square one, and what is a square one? This is square one. Okay, this beans grach means beans. And this, uh, I have uh, small coins, that's all I have now. <laughs> These uh, Kuna coins. You understand me? This is, the, this is the only reality which is, which is left for you. Which means, it's all bullshit, but the fact that you must be obedient to the authority in order to get your fucking can of beans this is the ultimate reality and this is what they're telling you there is nothing you can change but you must continue with the program and then you go back to the program and program and one of the many segments of the program we live in is this insane 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 bullshit men are exposed by the toxic women 
and I didn't say that they are not psychopathic men because there are and they do shitloads of bad stuff but they use physical violence for women psychopathic women they're gonna use the smear campaign the character assassination and they're gonna use cops big guys with big guns to do their bidding <laughs> so this is YouTube update uh, my mother who has a narcissistic personality disorder and I have uh, actually footage for that crap uh, she actually called the cops on me excuse me gentlemen and this they very nice gentlemen are the police officers <laughs> and they're very cool and I have no problem with them at all actually I kind of like them but <laughs> not very comfortable <laughs> with the armed guys <laughs> in my house <laughs> to, to be honest and I was too shy to ask them for names because that's kind of rude <laughs> so I'm going with you guys I'm all in but uh, this is basically it and um, yeah stay in tune and uh, subscribe and like so this was my uh, uh, take on that intro into the gender wars uh, please write me your comments and thoughts and prayers <laughs> and, and put them below uh, I don't know for the end just you know I, I, I want to have some mis uh, to clarify some things for the end you know I do not hate women you understand me I simply hate uh, psychopathic women who been given the power over me I hate this uh, situation I hate the situation where I can like from a mile long I can see bullshit coming out okay I'll give you an example so you know that I filed my paperwork for benefits in uh, February and now is the 26 22nd um, July right and I'm still not over with this paperwork because you know it's done by the women <laughs> of course so another problem is Although I live eight minutes away from the government office and they're supposed to send somebody to check if I live in this apartment to get the benefits or full scale of benefits because I'm getting like uh, maybe 50% at this moment because a woman, uh, Samarina, needs to come here and check out and I, I was waiting for her April, May, June and now July. And I know very well that as a woman working for government she can totally get away with it and I know that me in any 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 job I, I was working in my life I saw totally could not uh, get away with anything even remotely close uh, to this kind of uh, inefficient behavior and uh, you know what is that with my life how is that affecting me um, I have nothing in the fridge. I have uh, serious difficulties with pay with paying my bills, um, and I'm generally poor. So I'm on the totally opposite uh, spectrum of that uh, privileged white ma white female. And then I have my ex white female, which is screaming into my face that I'm privileged white male. You know, the same one which is uh, doing um, educational classes through the uh, government agency for employment for women and uh, minority members. You see how all this thing kind of weird is and I'm speaking in the behalf of one of these guys who finished something like this although he has a university degree and he was this kind of hire and ended up in this hierarchy working 10 years until it was time for him to be discarded. This is so fucking crazy. I know it. And um, and I know that we live in very, very confusing times. But guys, I'm just telling you exactly how it is. Thank you for watching and take care. Jaden has one dollar bill, one quarter, and two pennies. How how much money how much money does he have? Jaden broke. <laughs>